Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're doing this autocomplete form challenge in React. So if you don't know, you can go to this website webmasterydev.com and I'm adding new challenges almost every day. I try to add like one challenge a day uh, and then try to make a video uh, on that challenge. So today's challenge, today's question is this. Create an autocomplete form where user needs to add a fruit and autocompletes should show the options to pick. So if I go to preview and if I type something here, so it's asking what is your favorite fruit and it says try apple. So let's try apple. So if I try apple and if I pick it, it, it gives us selected suggestions apple. And let's say I add a banana, then if I select it, I get that. But let's say if I add something, let's say kiwi, oh, I don't see that suggestion. So one thing we can do or you can do that, you can try to show that if you don't find anything from the list and a user presenter, you can show uh, item not found or fruit not found, something like that. But I didn't do that to keep it simple because even though it looks uh, pretty simple to build, but there are a few things you need to take care of when you try to build something like this. Even though nowadays you would probably use MUI or any other uh, UI library to get this feature, but in case you're wondering, you can implement your own. Uh, yeah, so let's try that. So right now I just have my input tag here and some divs. So if we render that page, so you'll see something like that. So you can type anything here, but nothing would happen because we didn't add any logic to handle that. So let's try uh, to add some kind of handle change here so that when user types something, uh, we can see like what they're typing. All right, so let's give it a value of, right now we don't have any value. So let's give it, let's store that value in a variable called input value. And whenever we change anything here, we will run some functions to check what we're changing. And let's add our own change event listener. We'll give it a name of handle change. And we need to define both of these values. So for input value, let's create some use state hook so that we can grab or we can change these values according to our need. So input value, set input value, and let's give a use state of empty. So initially it will be empty and for handle change, it will accept an event and we'll do our computation based on that event. So right now, just let's grab the value from that event. So e dot target dot value and let's console log that value and let's add some type to that event. So if you go to our console and if I start typing here, hello, then you can see we will have our typed word here in the log. So far, so good. Now let's make another variable and that will be all the options that you will be shown when user types something, right? So we need some kind of array or array of strings that will store those suggestions. So let's give it a name of all suggestions and let's add some fruit names there. Now what we want is when we type something here, we need to see those suggestions here, right? So we can add a div and we can conditionally rendering those uh, items as for our need. So let's make it a div, uh, some ally elements here so that we can first of all show those ally elements and then we can click on those ally elements, right? Because we need to find a way to first of all show them, hide them and then click them. And on the basis of that, we can show the desired output. Yeah, so there are a few steps we need to do in order to get it to work. So let's do that. Let's maybe create a component that will do that. So let's give it a name of suggestions input and it will render those as ally elements. So let's add a UI tag here and then ally. And we need to pass those suggestions because we need to import that or we need to add that suggestions input component here, right? So let's make it uh, that it will Let's first of all create some interface here so that we know like what kind of uh, arguments it's accepting. Interface, suggestions, input, props, and 
let's make suggestions of type array of string. So we need to pass that here. So we can make it like that and then we need to inside the ul or inside the inside our ul we need to pass that and we need to map we need to map and let's give it a name like suggestion and then we will show that as ally elements okay and then we grab that and put right here and we need to pass the suggestion here right suggestions and over here it will complain that we need to add that attribute so we will pass maybe let's say we just pass that here all right why it's complaining has implicit type of any that is happening because what are we missing uh, i didn't add interface here so react.fc and then copy this guy and paste it here and let's see what i'm doing wrong so suggestions you we are not supposed to do that suggestion props and this looks better and then we can show our suggestion here all right is that fine key is missing so let's add a key here and just add suggestion as key for now so no complaining now so you can see that we have all our options shown here yeah we need to find a way with css to put it down here so that and then we need to be able to click on one of these so that we can select it and show here. Yeah, we are slowly moving to our target. So let's add some CSS. I'll be copying some CSS and pasting here so that we don't waste much time. Okay, then we can select those, right? So let's hide those guys for now. We'll just pass an empty array so that we can hide that and we can, at the same time, we have our input box visible here. Okay, so now we get some idea that we need to pass our array here and then we need to type here and show those uh, according to whatever we typed inside the box. All right, let's move to the next part. So let's make another variable called suggestions that will have all the suggestions we need. And then we have our set suggestions so that we can alter those as per our requirement and then use state and we pass it empty array here or maybe we'll use empty string sorry uh, an array of string now let's make changes to our handle change uh, so we have we are grabbing a value here so if value is value dot length is greater than zero we will need to so what we're doing right now is we are so these are our suggestions right so we need to find a way that when we type something we get a value right and we need to compare that value to these values so that we can see if we type apple we should be able to we should be able to find that apple is in our list but if we type a then you should show all the elements which has a in it so let's that let's add that logic so if value dot length is greater than zero we'll create a new variable called filter suggestion here and then we'll take all our suggestions so all suggestions so maybe put that here so we have all suggestions and then we apply our filter method so that we can see whatever we are typing let's say typing a comparing that a value with all those uh, array values inside all suggestions and then make a variable suggestion and suggestion dot changing to lowercase in case we have an uppercase value and we will include those values now we will take this value 
this the filter suggestion and then we will put it inside our set suggestion the set of function here and we'll pass our filtered value so now what will happen is we will have suggestions will have the value filtered from here because we're passing that here right and if you see here we have our suggestions here so we can remove that and we can pass the suggestions here so this suggestion is declared here and with the help of our set of function we are grabbing this filter value and passing into suggestions and this suggestion is going here and then we're mapping over and showing us list item and if we see let's say if i type apple c if i type a i have all these values i can select but i can't select right now because i didn't have the way i didn't have the callback to select this value so let's let's add that callback all right so over here we need to have a callback right so let's add it in first in the props we'll give it a name of on select and it will be a type it will accept a suggestion as a prop and it will return nothing so this is the uh, type annotation for on select now let's pass that on select here so on click we will have our on select not this one sorry this one and it won't pick it here because see we didn't pass it here so we need to pass that guy as well so suggestions and on select so now it's seeing here and we need to pass a value right it's accepting suggestion as a prop so we'll pass that suggestion and we'll post it here inside the on select so so far we are fine and we need to add here as well so on select so now we need to create that on select here so let's give it a name of handle select suggestion and let's create that create that here this will accept suggestions as prop of type string and we'll be we'll be doing few things here first of all we'll be um let's just log our suggestion why it's complaining because i did i forget to add that okay so if i also log that See, if we see here, it's selecting that apple here. So we are approaching our solution here. So first of all, we need to use our set selected and pass that here. We need to create another variable called selected suggestion. So we need to store that, right? We need to know that if something is selected or not, or what is selected. So let's create that and we give it uh, the initial value of null because this could either be a value of string or null we, because initially we didn't select anything so we can pass a null value here so let's add the set of function there set select a suggestion and we'll pass our uh, let's make it suggestion because we're passing one suggestion right not multiple and after that so right now what's happening is let's if i type apple so it's not uh going back to its place right so it's not hiding it even if even if after i select it so let's make it so let's make the suggestion an empty string here so that when i type it it will be gone so let's say type banana i can select and that will be shown here i remove the console log and the input of the suggestion will go back to empty array so that's good so what we are left with we are left with few things first of all we need to show the the input value right as we type so let's add that here so if we type something we can see that we are typing right so if i type cherry we can select it and now we need to show that below here so let's add our conditional rendering here so if selected suggestion is there like if we select something then we will be showing that selected suggestion so in case this is cherry so let's refresh that banana and we can show our banana 
and let me fix this ESS head sorry so that looks a little decent so now this is the final solution so if I refresh it if I type banana select it then we'll see our select solution here yeah so I know a few things you need to do in order to build this component but yeah it was pretty interesting to build and pretty interesting to like see like how the values changes and I know it could be overwhelming in the beginning right you need to take care of so many variables but uh, I think as you go like you would learn like how to do these kind of things but yeah I think it's it's a good practice to do these kind of questions just before the interview or even after interview so that you can brush up your skills so okay so I had a lot of fun doing these things so again if you're interested you can go to webmasterdev.com and try these questions and if you have any question you can send it to me I have my email on my youtube channel so if you find anything interesting just send it to me i'll make a video or add that question here and that's it from today's challenge i'll see you in the next challenge thanks a lot